Hello and welcome to a Vector Tuts Quick Tip Screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham. Today I'm going to show you some fun things that you can do with the grid tools and the envelope distort function. First I'll choose the rectangular grid tool and click once on the artboard to bring up its options. I'm going to make a 500 pixel square grid with 50 horizontal dividers and 50 vertical dividers. And there you see all the lines in my grid and they are white with a stroke of a half a point. Now I'm going to go up to the object menu and choose envelope distort make with mesh. In the box, I'll choose three rows and three columns, and now you can see those rows and columns in a mesh on top of the grid. Now, just as you would with a gradient mesh, you can take the direct selection tool and move the individual points. When you do this, the grid lines take on a sort of contour look, and you start to get these dimensional hills and valleys. I'm just going to undo those for now, and let's say you want to change the color or the weight of the grid lines. Go back to the object menu and choose Envelope Distort, Edit Contents. Now I can change the color from white to green, and then to get back to the mesh, go back to the object menu to Envelope Distort, Edit Envelope. So the envelope in this case is kind of a container for the vector object, and of course you can use any object, not just a grid. With a mesh envelope, you can use the Gradient Mesh tool to add lines, and just as more lines can add more detail to a gradient mesh, you can do the same with this grid. Here I've started making a face just by adding some mesh lines and moving the points accordingly. I'll repeat the process with the polar grid, and I'll just use that same 500 pixel size with the 50 and 50. I don't know why it ends up way up here. I'll give it a stroke of a half a point like before, and then, as I did before, go up to the object menu to envelope distort, make with mesh. I'm just going to do two rows and two columns this time, and there's the preview. Now I'm going to take the Direct Selection tool and drag the center point all the way outside of the circle, and you can see that it creates a kind of a tunnel. Let's say this was my finished artwork, and I wanted to expand it and add some other effects to it. I can go up to the Object menu to Envelope Distort and choose Expand, and that expands the effect, and I can edit the individual lines. This is just one thing you can do with envelopes. I hope it has sparked your imagination. Thank you for watching.